second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. After his resurrection, Jesus stayed with his disciples for 40 days, preparing them for the time when he would return to the Father. He gathered them together and spoke to them. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. Acts chapter 1, verses 6 through 9. This marvelous ascension into heaven was witnessed by many of his disciples, and they stood staring at the sky in awe until angels encouraged them to go out and do what Christ had commanded them, saying, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking at the sky? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Acts chapter 1 verse 11 Because with the ascension came the need to prepare for an inevitable future event, the second coming of Christ. Through his ascension, Christ finally realized his full potential as the Son of God. His body showed its full glory, and he became radiant like a bright light from heaven, as it had been during the transfiguration. This glorification of the body shows Christ's true power, which completely confirms that he is not only an ordinary man, but the actual divine Son of God. Christ ascended into heaven to parallel his return at the end of time, when the living and the dead will be judged, and our souls will be reunited with our bodies. The beautiful parallel between the ascension and the second coming acts as a bridge between the past and the future of our story as children of God.